Hi everyone, today I will be explaining how to write a DAX where you've been given a requirement to fill out the blank measure with a previous non-blank value. Okay, so just imagine with your Excel, the fill up, fill down um, formula. That's exactly what we'll be doing here in Power BI. So let's go into the Power BI file. So here's my Power BI file, and this is an order amount table. And the source of this data really is an Excel file. Um, so that's been brought in through Query Editor, and we are here in the visualization pane. And if we go to the relationship, we see that that's the table there as well. If I bring in the related tables, all I've done here is to create a relationship with the date in the table to the calendar date table in my model. So the relationship here is date in order amount to date in the calendar date. And that's just your many to one and a single directional relationship. Okay say okay we come out of there so now let's go to the visualization area click that okay so here is my table here is my data if we ignore all this other bit for a minute so this is exactly what we have we have the order amount and we see gaps in the data so the requirement is where there is gap fill it down where there is gaps, fill it down. And this is what I would want to see after my DAX. So fill down from here all the way down. And when it gets here, carry on until we have a blank and we fill down. And that's that's the requirement. So how do we write the DAX for this? So there is the DAX. The first thing you want to do is we get the max date from the date table. This is bearing in mind that we have a relationship with the date dimension, which is very important for this to, to work. And we have the table that has the measure, which is other amount. And we're saying, get me the date from other amount. And if it's the max of the date dimension, and there is no value. So I'm trying to get where there is no value. And note that here is not a measure. This is actually the field of the other amount. So that's very important. We're not using some other amount here. We're using the other amount field. And that's what we're using for the filter to say, get me the row where the, the rows where there is no amount in there. Okay. And then here we're saying get the sum of the other amount and fill it out with the value where you have an amount. So here we're saying, get me the rows where there is an amount. I mean, not equal to zero, take that back. So where there is an amount, so get that row set and begin to populate the whole data set with the value where there is an amount, okay? So literally this is your measure that you want to use. And that's it there. So this is it here, but the, the what, what we have here, when we put it into a visual is because the calendar date spans up to 2025 and beyond. Um, this doesn't look quite right because then we don't get the context of the actual data that we have. It's skewing things up a bit. So how do I reduce this line so that it stops where it's before today's date, 
right? So I want this to look like this where um, it's before today, which you can see is the 3rd of Feb. Okay, so that's the other measure there where we say other amounts, blank fields from previous till date. So all we're doing is if the selected date is before today, then give me the value. Otherwise, make it blank. And that just helps out with that long line there. So we then have this nice, fine flow. All right. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. Straightforward. Um, show you the measure again. There we go. Things to note, you do need a relationship with your date dimension. And um, here you need to make sure it's the value that you will be using for your measure. Okay. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below. And if you have any questions, do leave your comments below. Thank you.